the kind of the first tip is to get up at the same time every morning and get exposed to sunlight. Just starting your circadian rhythms, so at nighttime your body's ready to go to sleep. And then avoiding napping for a long time or late in the day. Obviously, avoiding things that are going to keep you up late at night, caffeine. And then it's uh, it's about setting up the right environment: cool room, quiet room, dark room. Another one that's uh, that's been replicated in studies as, as being beneficial is uh, is a worry journal. Just just you sit down at night. Uh, just write down some of the things that are stressing you or some th- some of your to-do items for the next day so you're not sitting there in bed going, oh, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. <laughs> also, the big one is avoiding those blue lights, avoiding the TVs, avoiding your phones. When you get into your phones at night, uh, that starts to, to create stress. I ask people, my clients, to set an alarm to go to bed, not to wake up. Mm. And then it's just, hey, it's bedtime, let's shut it down. That last hour or two that you're up in the evening is re- reading a book uh, or just relaxing.